You're listening to Mondo Cool, the only Dragon Ball movie podcast that gives you a Zenkai boost. That's right, boys. Mondo Cool. What's up, Dragon Ballers? Welcome back. It's time for another edition of Mondo Cool. This is our podcast where we go through the entirety of every Dragon Ball film, also known as the Oolong Cinematic Universe. Uh, I'm your host, KZ Excellent of KZExcellent.com, and with me as always are Dan and Bob Video Games of Gigaboost.com. How you doing? I have opinions on power levels. I don't. <laughs> I love running the gamut. And of course, we have Mr. Feel of Mr. Feels Wildride.com. Uh, I was sealed inside a star at the edge of the universe until some fat fuck's planet blew up, and now I'm <laughs> free. That's that's unfortunate so every month we come together and discuss a, a dragon ball film we've been going in release order we've done a lot of these some would say too many of these but if you think that this is a good idea and you want to see these as soon as they come out uh feels going to tell you how you can do that you can go to our patreon at patreon.com slash gb podcast for as little as five dollars a month you get many benefits such as early access to this and chugging bleach our two anime review podcasts, Cursed Content Club commentary tracks where we watch bad movies, Cursed Content by Committee, our Patreon-exclusive Cursed Content show, which also comes with a commentary track, extended armchair dev pitches, and other bonuses, maybe, perhaps. That's patreon.com slash chibi podcasts. And today, we're sitting down and discussing uh, yet another Dragon Ball Z film coming off of Broly the Legendary Super Saiyan. Today... We are discussing Dragon Ball Z Bojack Unbound. Or, if you want to go to the Japanese title. Dragon Ball Z, the galaxies at the brink, the super incredible guy. <laughs> what? That's so incredible. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm at the brink. Or, Dragon Ball Z, Ginga Giri Giri, Buchi Giri no Sugoyatsu. Ah, uh, okay. Now that's a great title. That's way yeah, better. That still sounds kind of lame, guys. I don't know what you do. <laughs> you know, you're an incredible guy, Dan. Take us through this film. Well, I just took a drink of a uh, grass jelly drink. One moment. <laughs> uh. Bob, take us through this film. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can wait a second. No, I don't think so. <laughs> It's fine, I can fill time. Did you know that in Japan, Bojack Unbound was shown alongside Yu Yu Hakusho, The Golden Seal, that really bad movie that was sold in America paired with the Ninku movie? <laughs> I've never seen anything Yu Yu Hakusho besides the show. So It's really bad. Worse than most Dragon Ball movies. Oh, fuck. How? That is a really good question, but I'll find that. out myself when I watch that uh, sometime later this year. Because weirdly enough, Ooh. even though I love Yu Yu, I've never watched the movie. Uh, so I'm trying to get the name real quick of this dirtbag because in Japan he's go he's called Gyosan Money. Yes. What, what is which the name? Means of the lots of money. Okay. Uh, it is XS as in the initials XS Cash. Yes, I lost it. Ah, okay. They were initials. I thought they just called him the XS tournament Cash. funded by XS Cash. Yeah, we're so they're doing a grand tournament because his son wants to see aliens, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'll get you some aliens, and Mister Satan will be there since you like him too, and we'll do a intergalactic tournament. It'll be really great, a Tenkaichi grand tournament. It'll be the best." And he's bragging about how much, how much of a giant dick he has with his billions and billions of dollars to the press. His kids there. He's excited about aliens. They explain the concept to the people watching, and then we cut to Goku and the other dipshits sitting on a tiny fragment uh, of <laughs> land next to Snake uh, you, Way. What's up? Yeah, Goku. I'm homeless now. <laughs> I, I like that. There's almost a Willy Wonka energy to the kid in getting all of this. Like it's something yeah, kind of reminds it, me of it, that. It, those it, scenes. It did give me that vibe. This opening scene excited me because the animation looked decent and it was areas that didn't exist in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, yeah. It's always a plus. 
any of these films get a free two points if I see more than one new location. <laughs> God, <you're laughs> such a low We've been in a great spot with these movies for a while now, huh? <laughs> I'm like, yes. I'm like, so long as you're not metal cooler where you're like, I found these background cells in our basement. <laughs> we tinted them slightly more orange. <laughs> And so long as we don't have anything similar to the history of Trunks Android 17 shot the dead mm -hmm. found. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the bar for the bottom. That's the bottom of the barrel nowadays. Will it cut to the same background back to back? <laughs> Backward. Prete pretending it's a new background. <laughs> we put rocks there. It's new. Um, but yeah, I no, like rocks. He's bragging about that tournament, and Goku's like, "Oh, I'm really excited. Gohan's there. He's going to be able to win this tournament. And that's going to be great. I'm gonna, very excited." Uh, and at the moment, he's talking about how excited he is. Uh, Mister Satan pops out of a helicopter and chops a giant sty uh, stack of tiles. Uh, you know, like karate people. <laughs> that's his one bit. Yeah, it's, yeah, uh, really good. And then, and then he's like, "Oh my, broke my hand, but I'm gonna smile for the cameras." Yep, that's that's his bit. But uh, you know, then we do the classic Dragon Ball Chala Hechala intro, and what happens next is the highlight of the film. Five jet fighter planes <laughs> combine their smoke to make a smug uh Mr. Satan face in the sky. It is unreal. That's pretty good. This is what I was missing. I love Hercule. <laughs> Hercule's pretty great. I, I'm surprised that this has the translation as Mr. Satan and not Hercule. Yeah. That is interesting. I guess they... I, I don't know if they... I, I, mean, I think they might have always used Mr. Satan in, like, the DVD releases. Because they... I know they did two dubs, because you would... You would walk, back when it was airing on Cartoon Network, it'd be like, they'd have the dub where they never say any word related to death. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, the, and then on the DVDs, they do. So I think they always said Mr. Satan in... The DVDs. It, it might be like a movie DVDs. thing because they know that's that's not gonna like get broadcast on TV typically. Also, he's wearing a jacket for most of the movie that says Mr. Satan on it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah there, <laughs> mm -hmm. there's there's also there's also that because Dragon Ball Z did uncut releases for a right. while, then just gave up on them <laughs> because the release strategy of Dragon Ball on home video was bad. <laughs> Yeah, and I I don't think this one had a lot of money in the translation, like in the in on the Funimation side, because one, I don't think there was any licensed music. Two, no, they didn't even make like an original title card like Broly had. They just yeah. used the Japanese one. Yeah, but uh, so we see those jet fighters fighters combine that, and then uh. That's happening next to what is apparently Battle Island, a place where they're going to hold the <laughs> tournament across eight battle different Island. battle stages at once, where all of these, uh, well, stock Dragon Ball characters like, you know, Karate Guy this, Mask Guy that, and a giant bear start fighting. <laughs> hand okay, to hand. so, so Wolfman, the Wolfman that gets knocked off, mm -hmm. he is he is a character from the original Dragon Ball. He looked it. Where he joins uh he joins the tournament to beat the shit out of Master Roshi cuz Master Roshi blew up the moon which meant he was stuck as a uh <laughs> he was stuck as a wolf man and couldn't turn back to human. <sighs> That's pretty good. <laughs> uh <laughs> and uh Master Roshi then hypnotizes him using Krillin's head to get him to turn back into a human being. He's like, it's the moon, it's the moon, you're looking at the moon with Krillin's head. Man, how did a gag a gag show become this? Anyways, so... Uh, God. Uh, <laughs> we have a really good scene of, uh, what was it, like 20 some odd fighters shoving a sumo guy off of a cliff and he just had enough of their shit. He picks up 20 of them at once and just chucks uh -huh. them yeah, into he's, the he's real ocean. Cool. Basically, basically just the sumo guy from t from Virtual Fighter. Yes, man, I can't remember that guy's name right now. Uh, uh, Taka Arashi. There we go. Just scale him up. Yeah, 
that's pretty much what they did. Uh, but yeah, you know, so the tournament's just, uh, as you expect when it's this many people, uh, just people punching at each other and kicking each other. Krillin's like owning people for once and he's really enjoying it. We cut to Roshi hanging out on a pole trying to get pervy and look for chicks and tank tops or whatever. Yeah. Uh, okay. He's like, he like, go, he does like the cartoon Awuga shit, but the scanner shows that they're just B cups. And if you like, think about kinda, it, that, you're, that you're really overselling this, man. Japanese B cups, which is an American A, but let's not talk about that. Let's talk about the fact that there's. <laughs> let's talk about Oolong, who is there in that <sighs> scene, because we can't fucking escape this horrible pig. <laughs> the Oolong cinematic universe, as I said. Top. Hey, this is this one had to bring back all of the characters. <laughs> Literally all of them. Yamcha's even there, and he just he's disappointed in himself already. He just sits on the top <laughs> of a pole and does nothing. Yeah, he's like <laughs> Piccolo, P Piccolo and Gohan and Trunks are here. What what am I even doing? Which, you know, admittedly Krillin did the same thing, but at least he wasn't a bitch and sit on a pole like after he's he like, realized. Come the fuck on. Yeah, he <laughs> exactly. He's like, why is every, everyone better than me here? This isn't fair. He's a super saiyan. Does, does, does Chi Chi just hate her husband? Why? She has, like a, she has like a 180 personality in this movie. Is she just so happy that he's gone? She, this is the only time Chi Chi's ever been supportive she's, of Gohan. She's like, well, it's weird. You can't study all the time. Uh, it's called a he traumatic event has had to make her re-examine life. Also, she's pregnant. <laughs> That's true. He really just knocked her up and then died. It was like, no, you don't have to revive me. I don't want to deal with that. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was like, I love that scene. I'm like, this is incredibly reasonable. <laughs> yeah. Her in, in the same in the same scene where it's like, yeah, Vegeta also ain't showing up either. He's all he's all weird because his boyfriend's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we I, I <laughs> that we cut to Vegeta. In his cuck shed. It was like that Mission Impossible <laughs> yeah. film. It was like Mission yeah. Impossible 2. Yes. <laughs> He's Tom Cruise in the cuck shed. We just need him <laughs> with binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. What? Tom, Tom Cruise and Vegeta are the same height. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I used to remember people saying Tom Cruise should be Vegeta in a live action movie all the time. And now you know why. God, he does kind of look it if you just give him the hair. <laughs> but yeah, so we get a lot of people fighting each other. We get uh, Bulma and Chi Chi having some sort of like, uh, my son's going to do the best sort of bitter rivalry going on in the stands. Uh, Gohan faces against what appears to be Chuck Norris, but now 400 pounds. Yes. <laughs> And he just uh, kicks him into guts, the side. kid. Now I'm going to show him to you. Yeah, that's weird because he does like a sweep kick, but the guy just goes like parallel to the ground. <laughs> it, it, felt yeah. like, mile. it felt like a really bad Super <laughs> NES Dragon Ball fighting game. So like, I thought it was very fitting. God, the villains from these show up in one of those really bad Super NES Dragon Ball fighting yeah, game. Uh, yeah, they do. Uh, mm -hmm. Super Butoden 2. Yep. Yeah. God, those games feel so bad. I like the continuity that they're trying to do here in which Bulma has to explain Trunks went back to his future, killed the androids, then came back to hang out. Yes, just to hang out for this movie. You know, they did. You know, they did. Uh, they they that is kind of in the series because when Cell attacks him, he's about to go back to tell them that he won. I, I thought That's it was true. neat that they actually spent a little bit of time putting effort into the state of the world post cell games. Yeah, this does feel like it lines up more with the real timeline than these movies usually do. Right. They usually just go, this bad guy died. This time, this bad guy died. Here's what's going on with a few of these characters as a result of that. And he and here's really cool things you haven't seen before with animation that seems to have some level of money. <laughs> I like their use of making people with like darker hair just like like a dark blue. I kind of like the the way they colored some of that. Thought that looked nice. Yeah. Uh, we get Hercule realizing that all these Z fuckers are here, and he just starts <laughs> shitting his pants. He's like, oh god. That's no. in the same scene where they're like, okay, here's how each person moves on to the next round, 
and it's just a button is pressed so the platform goes on a tilt and everyone on Krillin's side is sliding. Yes. And they're just trying to grab onto his head. <laughs> yeah, there's a... Uh... And they yeah, keep just so falling weird. in. He's like, and he's like, joke's on you, I wax. <laughs> Yeah, it was the funniest shit in the world. The US dub, he just goes, I wax in the most smug no. voice possible. It's the funniest thing. And in Japanese, this, this he said movie has a really different. In this movie, he has like a really, there's like a, this might be like the most disparate between dub and sub of just changing lines for almost no reason. Uh, there was a lot of yeah. times where I was stunned how different the subtitles were, and I'm like, I don't see why. You didn't even change it to a joke. It's just different. They just realized that Krillin's making a really smug face, so the line, how come, doesn't really line up. They're like, it's way funnier if he says, I wax. <laughs> <laughs> that one That one was a joke, so I got it, but there's a lot of them, and they're just like, why? Why? The, the weird adding of Goku to a lot of dialogue is strange, but I... I don't know, I'm kind of oh, okay yeah, with, with it. the bad guys. Yeah, that was that was something. That was really something. But uh yeah. We we get a few fight scenes, as as I was saying. Uh Hercule starts shitting his pants, and then we get a fight between Trunks and uh Tien. Uh Man, ruh -ruh. Tien's such a Chad. He actually tries. Yeah, unlike that Yamcha guy. It is neat to see Tien actually show up in a movie and get a fight scene with the major character. Like, we haven't seen that we happen. Haven't, Maybe we haven't seen him these. since Mystical Adventure, right? I don't think I, Tien's been no, in he any was movie in, since then. No, no, Treya might when they when he was defeated during a camera cut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm trying to remove Treya might from my brain. <laughs> God, yeah, And no. very upset the Return of Cooler won't leave. They, uh... I'm blaming the big Getty Star's power. They literally don't give him any fucking... God, it has been Respect. since Tree of Might. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That's nuts. Uh, but yeah, no, they have a pretty good fight. They're flying around and stuff. Everyone's freaking out. And, you know, that's when Hercules like, oh, man, I really need to go. Uh, I'm going to ship my brains out. I got to go to to somewhere by. And he runs out of the room. Shit land. He's like, OK, I, I'm going to I got I got out of that room. Time to leave. And he stakes one step outside and everyone's like, hey, it's Satan. And just start <laughs> cheering him on. And he's like, oh, god damn it, I love attention. It makes me suicidal, I'll stay. <laughs> uh, then, then <laughs> what the fuck? This honestly may be the funniest uh, inter-character relationship moment in all of fucking Dragon Ball. <laughs> Krillin and Piccolo are about to fight, and Gohan cheers on Piccolo. <laughs> Yes. Like, of course. Yes. Like it's he so needs bad. It. <laughs> look, look, Piccolo is basically his dad. I get that, but it's still just really fucked up because Krillin doesn't have a I love prayer. it because it's just Gohan's like, um, you know, Krillin, you're my dad's friend. <laughs> and then Krillin has to just look up at Gohan cheering him on and you know, even Oolong sees how fucked up this is. He's like, Gohan he, he, does, he doesn't he need doesn't to be need cheering on Piccolo. Come on, man. Oolong had some line. I don't remember where it was, but he just goes, fucking, fucking humans are stupid. Pigs rule. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think it was during that scene. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, and I was like, you know, I like that he's in every movie now. He's that like, humans fret about everything. Pigs rule. Then Krill is just like, when I get out of here, it's gonna be bacon time. And I'm just like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Jesus. And then he, uh, he takes a swing at Piccolo and falls off uh. the platform. And I guess forgets he can fly. Yeah, then he just becomes he a zany a Looney bit. Tune. Yeah, the, the flapping is actually way better animated than I expected. I was like, whoa, uh, yeah, I'm that's trying. The flapping is one of the best yeah, animations it, it, it in this was, movie. It wasn't, like, it wasn't like typical up-down arm anime flapping, like flipping between two frames. Yeah, there was, was like, like wow. depth to the animation and really good shading. It was very bizarre. Uh, uh, this, movie has like, this movie has like lighting and shit. <laughs> it's very strange. Uh, but then Piccolo's just like, 
tired of Krill and shit and even more embarrassed. And he's like, I came here for a tournament, not a freak show. And then he just flies off. And it's like, man, Krillin, you suck so much. Your, your opponent quit because he might have to engage with you. And then, and then he's like, yeah. Yeah, he seemed way too happy about that. Uh, then we cut to the... Default! 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 Stupid fucking filler shit with King Kai and Goku that doesn't ultimately matter. So then we get Satan running down a tunnel and he's like, yeah, I'm going to leave the island to uh, see my personal he's escaping vacation. escaping through the sewers! He really is. It's so fucking good. And he goes to step off of the fucking island and then that's when he realizes, oh, the ship that takes us off the island, the, the bridge that takes us off the island's fucking gone. They're all leaving. Everyone's waving at me because I'm a celebrity. I'm so fucked. And uh, yeah, that's because they're relocating to Battle Island 2, where they're going to have the rest of these fights in the most insane The Running Man moment possible. Mr. Satan didn't understand that this tournam tournament was being run by Seto Kaiba. <laughs> uh, he did not. He did not. Also, he's clearly really never seen the movie me. The Running Man. <laughs> it's a good movie. Uh... Clearly, because Kojima cribbed from it. That's how you know it's a good movie. Uh, but basically, we've got four tunnels that are uh, traversable by these rocket chairs or rocket capsules that <laughs> our fucking fighters have to jump into, and then they're rocketed off to four different battle zones where they have to defeat an opponent, which is one of those people from the intro, the Intergalactic Warriors, as they're called, one of which just wears a giant sombrero and looks luchador-esque. Um <laughs> They have to defeat them and then race to an elevator to get to the ground level, and that's how they uh, win this tournament. It's very exciting. Uh, so they all jump in. They all rock it off. And uh, th at this point, you just start to realize this entire conceit is just so they can draw shit. Because they're, like, flying through f wire frames, and there's, like... I, I, appre I appreciate them coming up with a concept that will allow them to draw things. Yeah. <laughs> it's suddenly VR. Because usually it's... We need a concept where we can use old stuff we already drew. Yes. It is usually that. There's this fucking shot in the background of uh, Gohan's place that he went to that is just a wigged out monkey. Yes. That hit me real yeah. hard. I was like, why? Yeah, he has. He goes to like this weird giant toy world. It's it's neat. Yeah, he goes to a giant mm -hmm. toy world. Okay. Trunks goes to a the, nice the green nature area. Krillin goes to hell. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the uh the toy the toy world isn't even actually where he ends up. That's the stupid turban guy's power. But see, that's the thing. You see the like you see the rocket chair enter this dimension, and all of these are ridiculous concepts of like they have fake backgrounds that they break through and other <laughs> yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah, they got some like the Truman in, Show shit. Yes. The endless desert, the volcano dimension, uh, the ruined <laughs> city, and then and then Krillin just needs to be even more of you know a, a, a chump. So the fighter he runs into in hell is a lady, and he's like, "Oh, she's so cute," and then he gets owned, and that's it. He it was like two. I'm trying to remember what his seconds. line is that he says to her. I think she likes me is what he says after he gets his dick pummeled. Yeah, he yeah is he's about something to fall like down. space ladies are the best. Or yes, shit he like says that. space ladies are cute or something like that. <laughs> he, he says, I think he says green chicks are hot specifically. Yeah, he just he has some line where I'm like, why? Why is Curlin's writing so perfect? Yeah, I think in the US dub, he says space chicks are hot, which is a v pseudo reference to that one movie. Uh, I can't remember the name of the guy in it. Anyways. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and then he gets owned. And in Japan, he goes, who are you? As he's dying out. And then in America, he just goes, I think she's into me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, he's, you know, he's, he's still working on Android 18. He's weighing his options. Uh He's then like, the mm, robot girl, alien girl. This is complicated. Like looking between his hands. <laughs> the man with the two buttons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then Dosekoi, the 400 pound sumo man from before, 700 pound more likely, uh, is just fucking choked out by one of these dudes. And he says Dosekoi over and over. Yeah, he's a Pokemon. He just says his name <laughs> yeah, over he's and over. Pokemon. 
It's fucking weird, but yeah, he gets choked to death on camera, and everyone freaks out, and that's when they realize, wait a second, those aren't our guys. Who the fuck are they? And and then and then everyone freaks out, and then yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys. We get a fight scene between Trunks and a, a, one of these dudes with the sword. He looks kind of tr- Chrono Trigger like, but he not- does look Chrono Trigger. Yeah, I mean, he he's looks a, blue- a lot like Chrono. Chrono. Yeah, he's like a blue Chrono that's kind of big in a way that Chrono isn't. Yeah, and then he gets like super big. <laughs> The, the part where yep. I started cracking up is when uh, Trunks and this dude start running into the water like they're going to do a cool samurai duel, but Trunks doesn't have a sword. Right. <laughs> so, just like, what's the plan yeah, here, they Trunks? Yeah, they showed in Vegeta's room, actually. Yes, they did. I noticed that, too. Uh, then we go to the toy dimension where uh, some dipshit shows up, and he just starts making clock hands fly at Gohan. Gohan's so strong, he blows up the clock hands with his uh, energy waves from him powering up. And uh, that yeah, his aura just melts that shit. Yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. Uh, uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, there's DMZ fights. We got... <laughs> there's a really fucking funny moment. <laughs> <laughs> where Trunks okay. is like, oh yeah, I could power up. And he powers up and he gets a little huge. The guy he was dueling hits it with the sword and he just blocks it with his fucking muscle. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And How then, instantly uh, he owns that guy is great. Yeah, he just punches just, just a hole. Like, just like Zangief in uh, the Street Fighter V story mode. Yes. <sighs> Hercules trying to hide in the toilet. He keeps yelling at them. I ran out of toilet paper. Uh, <laughs> making excuses. And then eventually he realizes he should he should go. You know, it's going to be fine. Maybe he can cut a deal. Who knows? Who knows what his plan is here? But he steps outside and that's when he starts to figure out I, I think it was one person yelling around him or something that like, you know, they're, they're killing people and they need him to help. He gets thrown into a rocket capsule and then he's like, wait, aren't there is there a seatbelt on this? And we cut away. The weird thing is in the Japanese dub when we cut back to him like I don't know, 15 minutes later or something, he says the same line, basically, where he's just like, what about my seatbelt? But in the U.S., they changed it to something else because they're like, it's been 15 minutes, man. He shouldn't just say that again at the same shot. We, we need I'm to glad they look the at the line. script and use their mind. <laughs> Uh, and then we cut to the wicked fragment of land next to Snake Way with Goku and uh, King Kai, and King Kai explains the incredibly solid lore of this film <laughs> yes it's just like we yeah. haven't introduced the villains at all yet they can guys should just say it <laughs> which is always yeah, a we're, good sign. We're like most of the way through this movie the villains don't even show up until more than halfway through yeah yeah that's kind of what kind of blew my mind was just like oh this is cool this is just, they're not even sh- fucking showing these villains yet <laughs> so here's where it gets weird gohan after having owned the guy who he was fighting, I guess, off screen or just runs away, uh, runs up on Trunks and Krillin on the ground, already having had the shit beaten out of them. Because uh, I guess after Trunks uh, punched a hole in that guy earlier, there was an abrupt shot of someone else attacking him. So it's like, oh, these these two have com- been completely owned. This is terrible. They're clearly all out of energy. And that's when we introduce Bojack, who comes out of the darkness has an unbelievably deep voice and is a super, super space pirate, thief, destructor, destroyo, overlord. I don't know. Yeah, they have like, a Dragon Quest energy to them, honestly. Oh, oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. they do. Like, this this gang this has a real... This is the video game squad. <laughs> yes. It really is. It does super come off as that. Uh, Bojack's energy is funny because he wears like a do rag and three necklaces and earrings <laughs> and has a six scar and he's a blue ginger. He's like firing it at eleven. <laughs> he, he's like he has like a Mediterranean thing going on. I think. Okay, like that was the imp- impression I got of him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's when uh Tien and Yamcha show up in the moment they headed in. To help, I was like, their whole job is to show up and get owned immediately by Bojack, isn't it? <laughs> and then they do exactly that. They, they just get completely wrecked by his squad. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. not even Bojack, just just the henchmen. Mm-hmm. Which he's got like three of them still, so they're still outnumbered. 
Are you, are you trying to say they would have done fine otherwise? Because <laughs> Tien I, I, just gets dunked immediately. I know. I just want to believe that, yeah, maybe. Maybe if the three teamed up on the little guy, he'd, they'd get him. <laughs> the, little, the little guy does have, like, is like the Krillin of their group. And yet he took down Tien in two hits. Their Krillin is better than their than the hero <laughs> Krillin. The zero Z fighters Krillin. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's. I, we get some three on one fights. Things are, I don't know, sort of interesting. I, I don't have much to say about the fight scenes. Uh, they were more exciting than the Broly fight scenes. I, I think there was at least a, yeah. more cool ideas going on in them. I mean, they just keep moving along, and then they have one or two clever ideas for the fights. I think they yeah. had the same problem some of these movies have where nobody's allowed to be competent until the last five minutes. Yeah, yeah. that's my number one thing I fucking hate about Dragon Ball movies. It is. It's just so bad. I, like, I think please. it was slightly helped by the fact that the villains took more than half the film to arrive. Yeah, that that helped. Also, uh, they at least have cool powers where they ha the dude, he has like the energy rope shit that keeps owning trunks. That, that sucks your life out of you. Yeah, they're like, the and more like, you struggle, you down. the more energy it takes. Ha ha. I think it's really funny that it was like, that seemed like it was one guy's ability, and then at, by the end, they're all doing it, and it's like, wait, are any of you unique? No. No, apparently not. Apparently they could all do that, we but that one guy likes it the most. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a really good shot. Okay, so Gohan starts trying to fight them. Piccolo shows up to try to fight them. Uh, Trunks Go Super man, Saiyan, even though man. he had the shit kicked out of him earlier, so he seemed to recover really abruptly and really well off screen. And then he does the funniest, like, beam shit I've ever seen Trunks do. It just loops this weird animation where his arms just wiggle <laughs> and a shitload <laughs> yeah. of energy balls come out. It's funny as hell. Uh, and Bojack just has a shield around him and it just goes, I don't care. <laughs> Piccolo has, like, really poor judgment. Because, once again, I think he could probably easily own any of the other guys. But he's like, no, I want a real fight. I'm going for the leader. And just immediately gets worked. Yeah. Yeah, I felt like that was a lot of these guys. Like, please, please fight the other ones. Don't fight Bojack. What are you doing, Trunks? You can probably one-shot these other guys like he did with the sword guy. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, the sword guy The sword guy could even go super, uh, super Harrigen. Which is what these guys are called, Harrigens. Oh, okay. Which, uh, like Bojack could, and none of the other ones can. So Trunks probably would have won easily against any of them. Probably, yeah. I, but I like how Bojack, book. unlike most villains that we've run into in these recent films that have a transformation attached to them, uh, didn't do it because they were losing. Bojack just did it to hit them harder. I forget if he. <laughs> Like, in one scene, he just finally becomes big and green just to pin someone against the wall. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's that's neat. He's like, whatever. I'm just gonna win. Uh, so, as Piccolo has the shit kicked out of him, Gohan holds him, and he gets really sad at it. At that exact moment, uh, Vegeta explodes out of the ground. <laughs> that's where he always is, Dan. We uh, for this. I, I love it. The cuck shed and, and destroyed. And they're, like, under the ocean and shit, so he had to go really deep. He really wanted to get the surprise he, on he them so he could look cool. The sewer. Yes. It was just like in uh, Andrew, or Super Android 13. It was a lot like yeah. that, yeah. He just lives under the earth until the moment he gets upset. <laughs> he throws uh, Trunks his sword because the thing that alerted him to things were going bad was uh, Trunks got owned and he felt that. He felt his son get owned. So uh, he rips out of the ground like a horror movie monster, looks cool, and then joins it on the fight, and uh, Bojack... Yeah, know, joins it on fighting Bojack exclusively, because he's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. There's a really good moment where Vegeta gets knocked way the fuck back, and Trunks goes, uh, Vegeta, Dad, you can't do any more in your condition, and Vegeta just goes, Shut up! And elbows him! Like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He, uh, they're trying to take over the earth, Dad. <laughs> Dad, please stop beating me up because I'm concerned about you. It was, it was really fucked up because Vegeta literally says, Don't make me tell you twice. <laughs> I'm like, is that an abuse joke? <sighs> uh, <laughs> That's insane, <laughs> yeah. Vegeta. You're like, 
that's that's hitting a bit hard. Prince of all sayings. <laughs> Prince, <laughs> Prince of all saying, uh, not Prince of all uh, proper dads. Uh, that's definitely the case. In fact, most sayings are really bad dads. But that's a that's, that, that, that could be a topic for a video essay. I ain't gonna make it. Uh, but yeah, we 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 have fights. None of them are terribly remarkable. Uh, we have the string stuff we talked about a lot. So trunks get strung up, and then the chick who uh, I forgot to mention earlier, it happened when she fought Krillin, and then it happens again here. When she powers up, her hair just goes up, even though it's really long. So it's it, it, kind it, of funny. Yeah, it's really it's funny, cool but also cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I agree. Uh, it is both of those. There's a reason the fan base was obsessed with her for like 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get a uh, movie for her, right? Like in the official oh, universe man. of Super. Could you I would, if they do a super version of BoJack, I'd lose my fucking mind. They would have to write <laughs> so, many so much would backstory. Be so <laughs> Toyotaro would nut at getting to write all that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he would, absolutely. Uh, they, should, they, should put, they should put her in fighters. So they... The, I mean... I wouldn't fight it, but <laughs> we need a more woman. <laughs> At least I was about one. to say, I was thinking about the short list in my brain of these are girls you could put into Dragon Ball fighters that uh, can possibly fight in some way at all. And she's on that list. And I never even seen this movie until t until today. Yeah, uh, this is this is one of the movies I had seen before. today. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so everyone but Gohan gets owned really bad. Gohan's like, okay, now I'm really upset, you guys. Now I'm really going to fight all four of you at once. So he starts doing yeah. that, and uh, Satan just gets launched from the, in the rocket capsule into the air. It explodes, and he falls down. And uh, they're like, oh, man, that distraction just saved your life a little bit. And then and then Gohan gets mad again. Uh, and then it starts fighting them and gets owned. And then Bojack pulls off his signature move, being huge and squeezing Gohan. He used the hug. Yeah, Man, he used he the, hug. the shit out of him, too. Yeah, all of his cherry juice starts flying out of his face. But yeah, then Bojack does the thing where he's just like, can you see your dad in the next world? And it's like, wait, you know Goku? How do you know all of this shit? <laughs> You're just some weird guy who lived into his, inside of a star up until what I presume was a month ago. Then he got here somehow then he for got some here reason for this tournament to own everyone and he's owning everyone and he's squeezing Gohan and and then Goku's just like I can't take it we need to do something and King Kai's like but you can't and he instant transmissions and punches Bojack in the face and then just leaves immediately. Yeah. Um, no, no, he doesn't leave immediately. First, he has to demean Gohan, and then he can leave. Oh, that's true. He's like, <laughs> stop being a little bitch, and then he disappears, and then Gohan does his incredible motor inspirational speech later, shoot the Kamahamaha, where he goes, my dad told me to stop being a little bitch. Finally goes Super Saiyan 2. Finally. I, yeah. I, I really wish this movie had some arc where Piccolo was like, don't listen to your, your other dad. He's just being down on you. You really need to believe in yourself more, Gohan. And then he goes Super Saiyan 2. Oh, that would have been good. <laughs> that would have been really good. That's the kind of canon I would value a lot more. I was making jokes of like, Piccolo, tired of the shits, like, Gohan, I brought my with myself a, a replica of Android 16's head. I'm going to crush it now. Please go <laughs> Super Saiyan 2. <laughs> You, you know who could really motivate Gohan into becoming a Super Saiyan 2? Future adult Gohan. Hi. He'll just, he'll just stare at him. I work at I work in finance. That happens. That happens in Heroes. Oh. More or less. Su Super Saiyan 3 future Gohan is a thing in Heroes. Oh, that's terrible. All right, Dan, back to you. Any <laughs> anyway, I like the scene where Goku is like, do it, go on, get angry. <laughs> like, you that, can't even that, hear him. That's always what he says. It's G Gundam, get mad. Except, except in that Master Asia is baiting him. Yeah. This no. Goku's advice is always, son, you gotta get pissed. And now we know where Gohan learned his incredibly good training regimen from. Yes. 
That's all his dad ever told him. He forgot everything Piccolo <laughs> told him. <laughs> Future Gohan's just shaking Trunks. They're gonna kill your mom, Trunks. Get mad. <laughs> Future Gohan's red-pilled Cave Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, well, I don't have any father figures anymore. I guess I'll watch. I guess I'll subscribe to this YouTube guy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but yeah, Gohan goes Super Saiyan 2 because his dad pointed out he should stop being a pampered bitch and he starts slow walking at them. You know, just like the cell thing. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same animation. <laughs> uh, they try to use the strings, the strings don't work. Isn't that cool? He's walking yeah, through he's the strings. He's complete, completely expressionless. It's very cool. I spent most of this moment during the movie thinking about how Toriyama forgot about Super Saiyan 2. Yeah. Uh, then Go Gohan does the thing where he kicks people and they explode. So he I'm owns... a big fan of it because it splits them that, in half and then they explode. Just it like made, the fucking you know, Cell it, Juniors or whatever, right? Yeah, it yeah. made sense for them because they're like weird... Uh huh. Duplicates. Apparently, like, just like, I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure do Gohan that. does that again in a future movie. So I think he just has the punch explosion because it's cool. He can just karate chop anybody in half and they'll explode. Apparently, no uh, one else gets this power when they go Super they, Saiyan Two. It's a Gohan again, exclusive. Is, these are video game bosses. <laughs> so they need, uh, to, they need to make that a dramatic fit. They add the BoJack gang to fighters and then make that Gohan's dramatic finish with them. That would be good. Uh, so he punches the the really small one and the bigger dude in half. Like he kicks and punches them into half and they explode. So the lady with the, with the long hair backs up near Bojack. Bojack then, even though he's behind her already, teleports mm -hmm. behind her for a different shot. <laughs> And then uh, there's like parts that of analyst, GIF analysis. And, and then just blows energy through her at Gohan. Just They're like, I just remembered you're a woman in Dragon Ball. It's supposed to be like he's it's a distraction, but I don't understand how that distracted him anymore. It did than nothing. not doing that. It it did nothing. He it really like, was just a plot device to not have oh, right, Gohan I don't respect women. It was just a plot device to not have Gohan murder a woman on screen. <laughs> The writers were just like, oh, there's nobody for her to marry. I guess she just has to die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she can't get away. Hmm. What do we do? Uh, so then Gohan punches a hole through Bojack after Bojack's shit doesn't work at all. Gohan doesn't express because it's very raw when he doesn't express. And then Bojack's like, oh, you're... <laughs> You're getting a real fucking on now, kid. Just you wait. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> As he's bleeding out With the Japanese. whole ass jazz. I this think that, dude is so bad. I think that the Japanese stuff, he's like, oh man, that's really hurt. And the English one, he just made him go like, yeah, now I'm going to get you. <laughs> because again, the people of Funimation go, he has to be confident he's still fighting. <laughs> right? But yeah, he's like, how could a little kid do this to me in Japanese? But in English, he's like, oh, you're 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 gonna get owned now, kid. Just wait one moment. <laughs> Gotta pull out my secret um, technique um, of um, shooting um, two beams. You might be immune it, it to works one. Works on kid. the didact. <laughs> exactly. It works on the didact. The <laughs> didact. Uh, so then. Gohan shoots a Kamehameha at the double beam from Bojack, but that isn't enough. The, the, the energy is <laughs> flying everywhere and exploding. And then they do the weird like samurai at dawn thing where they fly past each other. And it turns out <laughs> Gohan, I guess, punched him and he explodes in the background. But shit's still going crazy. So energy is going everywhere. Electricity is arcing up a, a tower that hasn't been shown until now. It looked cool, so they drew it, okay? <laughs> yes, okay. The lesson here is that the animators went, this is Gohan's movie. We're going to make it as chuny as possible. And then uh, electricity and explosions appear all over the island because they had some special effects. They don't necessarily look right the way they've overlaid them, but they're here now. It's very cool. Hercule probably died in the explosion. Thank uh, God. And yeah, then, then Gohan's just standing there and he's like, oh, that was cool. Okay, I'm tired. I fall over now. Owie. And, and, then, and then King Kai's like, 
giving Goku shit, and Goku's like, oh no, did I break a rule? And in Japanese, he's like, oh, I don't know, I blinked. And then in, in English, she's like, I don't know, the monkey keeps track of that. And then they go, ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, in Japanese, and they he's did like, it. I don't, it all, it I don't all know, turned King out okay. Kai. Did I do something? I don't think I did. And then King Kai's like, I don't know. I blinked, so I didn't see it. <laughs> Too bad he never it does that for the androids okay. <laughs> in the alternate timeline. And, and then we get a really good. They're all in the hospital and talking shit about Hercule scene because Hercule saved the world again. Yep. Now I have to explain to Bob why he couldn't have done that for the androids. Are you ready? Because there's oh. an explanation. Oh, yeah? You see, normally, when you die in Dragon Ball, you become like a little white spirit. Right. You can see them all going into in, yeah. to be judged. Yeah. Uh, Goku gets to keep his body the first time he dies because he had to go train with King Kai. And he got to keep it after he killed Cell because he was such a big hero that uh, he gets to keep his body and like go, go to the 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 heaven other plane. Oh, that'd so, be so you're saying that for some reason in the other universe, because he died from a heart attack, they're like, no, no yeah. entry. Yeah, like, no you, did, you, did, you, last you didn't have a you didn't have a warrior's death, so you you get to be a spirit now. Maybe if you had a good diet. <laughs> you uh, cause of death too many baconators. I'm sorry, we can't let you in. Kept saying, kept saying things in your past life like uh, women be shopping. <laughs> didn't, didn't really, didn't really see anything with that. Um, I yeah. like the end sequence in which they, they imply that Hercule wears a wig, and Curling goes, he bought his chin from a thrift store. That was pretty good. Oh. Uh, I do like that it leads into uh, the other tournaments. They're like, hey, at the second Taiki Tenkaichi fight, or it, it shows the newspaper for this tournament. Where it's like, second Tenkaichi fight, Mr. Satan, ha ha ha. And then that's the ending, and then we get this unbelievably good credits the end shot where it looks like they just inserted cell art, pre-existing cell art of Tien and Yamcha, because they're mugging to the camera and everyone else is looking properly at the left side of the frame with Goku and Gohan. <laughs> yeah, that has to be something they just had. It's so close to them just pointing at themselves and making the, the, the Gohan uh, Dragon Quest meme. <laughs> yes, oh! Poir's got a bow tie. That's pretty good. Yeah, Don't no, talk I, about I, Chad Han. Did, I, no, did, Chad Han. Did great. Tien do that in this movie? Like, early on, didn't he do the thumb thing? <laughs> yes, he got pretty close, and I fucking lost it. Now I'm going to spend my time trying to find that. Oh, my God, did I? No. Okay, not yet. <laughs> anyway, that's that's the movie. <laughs> that That is the movie. So, at this point, I look at the time and go, Oh, boy, it's time for us to talk about our segments for this for this episode. First up is the Yamcha Award. That's your biggest disappointment <laughs> in terms of a character in this whole, whole thing. Bob, you will get the first one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it to Vegeta. Cause, okay. Because he lived in his, <laughs> little, his little shed for the first half of the movie. That, that, that is a good pick. I forgot he was in this movie for at least 10 minutes in the summer. <laughs> yeah. And when he shows up, he just gets owned and then beats Trunks. It's like, it's not a good look. No. <laughs> yes. Uh, feel. Piccolo? Yeah, he chomps pretty hard, once too. Again, one, once again, he's like, uh, I, I refuse to be useful. I will take the one course of action that will guarantee I can both be in this movie and achieve nothing. Yeah. All right, Dan. Uh, Yamcha, holy shit. He's never <laughs> yamcha harder. Yeah. Yes, that's true. It was I don't know. I think amazing. he got I think he got Yamcha harder by Android 19 where he just got the hand shoved through him with no fight whatsoever. He he sh he's doing that thing where a moody bitch like and it just shows up at a party and pouts. That's what he did to this tournament. He just he he's sitting in the corner of the tournament in this case on top of a pole. And he's just sitting up there like, oh, man, this is terrible. I'm going to get owned. 
This is the worst. And then he gets reintegrated into the plot just to literally show up and get owned. That's it. Yamcha's... Even by Yamcha standards, I feel like he should try harder. (laughs) Yeah, he didn't even do the wolf fang fist pose. He didn't even have time for that. No, he basically T-posed until he was snapped in half like a fucking twig. (laughs) (laughs) He's like Bubsy 3D when you die, he just shatters. the loudest sound effect in the world. (laughs) Yes, exactly. It really is that bad. You know what? I'm gonna give it to, uh, I'm gonna give it to Goku. He can't even beat a monkey in cards. Nah, that's true. It's fucking pathetic. <laughs> Come on, Bubbles can't be that good. <laughs> it's not hard to be smarter than Goku. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Hmm. Our second segment, of course, is we give the entire crew a challenge here. They need to pick someone who is in this movie and put them up against the most powerful being we know of Jiren from Dragon Ball Super and see whether or not it, they picked a good matchup with their reasoning on how th- <laughs> they could beat Jiren and Dan I need yours first uh, I'm gonna say full strength Super Saiyan 2 Gohan might be able to do it too bad that character never shows up in this franchise ever again <laughs> no! yeah it's really too bad <laughs> yeah we have yeah. no idea you're right. Teen Gohan, who is eight years old, no longer shows up. Uh huh. I love so, that shit. This is the worst. God, it's it eight. Is, it is. The, <laughs> it is hilarious. Kid Gohan, how old is he? Seven. How old's Teen Gohan? Eight. How old is Adult <laughs> Gohan? Sixteen. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh. How, how does words? It might be the most hilariously bad part of the localization that still happens now. They need names for him. I get why it's it's stuck, but God, it's dumb. It's... (laughs) I'm finally an adult. Here, I'm going to become a first year in high school. Yeah, you're right. (laughs) Feel, who do you got? Mr. Satan's rocket car. (laughs) It's very distracting. It just slams into him and kills him instantly. (laughs) No, no seatbelt. <laughs> hey, Bob. What's up? I found it. Yes! <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, dude, the thumb himself is so good. I mean, I mean, it, conti- it continues. It's the Dragon Ball rule that whenever you do that, you lose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on. Bob, what's your pick? And is it Tien? <laughs> it's not Tien. Good. It's future chunks, but only for the two seconds after he goes Super Saiyan. Because in Ooh. that time, he is apparently so powerful, he can punch holes straight in other dudes. Ah, uh, that's true. <laughs> I, I saw that in this film. Uh, Mr. Satan. He apparently beat Bojack and Cell in the same week. He's got to be really strong. <laughs> Allegedly. That's what the news is saying. They give him his own city, Satan City. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this during the 45 minute long review, but it's real weird that that Piccolo had to hide his name when he entered the tournament before, but in less than 20 years everybody forgot the guy named Piccolo murdered like half the world. Well, that's because Toriyama yeah. forgot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, but they mention that character in this movie. Yeah, hey hey everybody, how's it going? It's time for our third segment. Uh, With this one, we have to take our villain from this film, put him up against someone who's uh, not in the movies, who's in the canon Dragon Ball universe. Yes, GT will also count for this example. We come together, we bring a character for it. And uh, Feel's gonna start. Uh, Who are you gonna put up against Bojack? Cell. Not even super perfect Cell. Normal Cell could take him down. Normal Cell Normal cell beat up by Krillin. Yeah, I thought I thought you were gonna say like normal crackhead cells. Like yes. No, n- be- perfect cell before he got blown up and became three times stronger. All right. Oh, okay. What's that name for the ugly cell between the two? Semi perfect cell. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I could see it. He might get desperate and like do cell juniors. You can do that. I don't know. I th- I think perfect cell would just work Bojack really hard. You'd be like, oh, you can you can turn big and green. 
That's cool. I'm going to rip your throat out now. It'd be it'd be really funny to see is him this summon like Cell Jr. version of Cell in Dragon Ball Fighters where he's on on every team. I mean, that's basically how Cell is, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "Hello," and then karate chops him in half cuz he teleported behind him. Uh, I'll give it to Bob. Um, I think that this guy has a, some strong Deborah energy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pit those two against each other. I'm so pissed. That is exactly who I was picking. <laughs> Deborah, the Demon King. He yes. just has to spit on Bojack, and it's over. Yeah. Wor worst case scenario, he just spits on him, and it's the end. What's that do again? Turns, turns you to stone. To stone. Okay. I completely forgot how that they turned. He turned people to stone. That makes sense. Why not? <laughs> Well, well, now that Dan has nothing, Dan, why you got to do that, man? <laughs> I can't believe Bob took Debora. I was like, oh, yeah, I really want to see this combination. No one else is thinking this. <laughs> no one else is thinking Debora the Demon King. Everybody's always thinking about Debora. <sighs> Spopovich. <laughs> Spopovich. Uh, keep in mind, it's Majin Spopovich. Since he has the M, I don't know why no one calls him that, but I am right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that makes sense because normal Spopovich got worked by Hercule. <laughs> yes. <laughs> normal Spopovich, known as Mullet Spopovich. <laughs> I love Mullet Spopovich. He's basically just on meth because he lost all his hair and he. And he yeah, I was like, I don't pale. even remember normal Spopovich. Let me see if I can get you, you a picture, Bob. One moment. You, you, you. It's impossible to measure the strength of a meth addict. You, you don't know what they could do at any time. There you go, Bob. There's normal Spopovich. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can kind of see how he'd get owned by Hercule. <laughs> he, he looks like the exact dude that would. Yeah. Wow. Man, that design for him. The meth head design is really strong. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, Majin Spopovich has a pretty good chance against Bojack. Yeah, I mean, uh, she, he beats Fidel, and Fidel's obviously very strong. Mm -hmm. He also takes, uh, what was it? Isn't he the one who gets his he his neck cracked and just deals? He gets his neck broken and then like pulls his head up four feet off his neck and adjusts it right and sets it back down. Yep. It's one of the weirder looking shots in the anime. Oh yeah. No, it, it's real strange stuff. That's what I was thinking of too. I was like, yeah, he could do that. He's, he's, he's pretty good. Well, like, I, I, I guess I'll bring in like, like you did the one time. I'll bring in a GT character. Yes. I'm thinking Legic. <laughs> The, the man with the God. largest God. ears ever. <laughs> God. That is... GT is just a wasteland. It really is. Look at this guy. That is... That's, that's not a real character. <laughs> that showed up in a video game that got canceled. I, I'm gonna be honest. You, like, when they introduced the villains, I was like, man, this has some real GT energy. I don't know. I there, think there's all also... The DBs, or GT characters... <laughs> There was also this guy who I was considering, but I don't know his name. Okay, let me. It's 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 this oh. pink man. Yeah, the pink guy. I don't remember his name anymore because we watched the like, episode I with him. It. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't even I remember seeing it. this guy. I literally went Google. Give me GT bad guys. He's got like what a giant e ring. design. I, it's terrible. So either we got, watch the I, I gotta, episode I with it. Get out of here. So either we watch the episode with it, or KZ has memed that dude at me so many times that I think we watch the episode with it. What episode with what? Uh, that dude is, you just posted. He he's no. in the fourth episode. He's like the first thing that happens once they leave the planet. No, I have never posted this man in my life. Oh my never. god! One second. I think I know what's up. GT versus Super Podcast. Let me look at the images. He might be in a thumbnail. <laughs> I don't even remember him. He must have been incredibly He's pointless. He's in a thumbnail, that's why. God. <laughs> you know, sidebar, additional, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the corner. I have a question. Do you think anyone in any of these movies so far can stand up against this person? I just Googled Ozoto the Super Monster. <laughs> <laughs> What's he from? Uh from he's from some fucking um 
<laughs> I knew you'd at least know. Uh, like one of those choose your own adventure VHS tape things. <laughs> I think. No, no, no. He's from a really, really bad fighting game from that was arcade only Dragon Ball Z virtual reality versus that never came to any home platforms and was abysmal. He was the unique boss. He's certainly unique. I'm going to say oh everyone could beat oh him. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say nothing. Oh, oh no. They, they brought him back. Yeah, it looks real bad. They brought him back in Heroes, by the way, because they bring every fucking horrible thing back in Heroes. Yes. It, very exciting. Well, I, I think everyone went, so I think that's it. <laughs> <sighs> well, at this point, we have to jump into reviews. Uh, if this is your first episode of Mondo Cool, each person gives a review, ranks it from one to seven. We combine it and uh, see how it ranks up in an, a segment that gets longer and longer as the show goes on. We're going to start with feel. Uh, this is pretty good. It has a lot of neat things and decent animation. You're constantly seeing new and interesting things. It has pretty good animation. There's like lighting. So they use colors really well. So it doesn't just always look flat. But uh, most of the fight scenes after after Trunks owns that guy, most of the fight scenes become not that great, not fantastic, but not super great. So I'm going to give it a five because I enjoyed it, but not as much as uh, Dead Zone. Okay, Dan. <laughs> I was just like, what's the weirdest thing I could say right now? Uh, pass. <laughs> Bob <laughs> I'm a little conflicted on it because I, I think that like it has a bunch of actually neat new areas and some neat fights but I was really bored near the end Um, it's I guess that's this par for a DBZ movie though so I'm going to give it a 5 because I was at least seeing exciting new things and wasn't just let's, upset let's talk about the word par <laughs> <laughs> now <laughs> that should be the th one of the three highest numbers you could give a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball is a mysterious franchise. Well, it's, that, it's, it's okay. That, that part of it, that part of it that makes me feel that way is par, but the other things elevate it. Oh, okay. I was, I was going to say, I'm looking at your other numbers there, there are here. Many <laughs> are you saying this is as good as Lord Slug or Super Android 13? I'd which, say it's between those. I think Lord Slug is better, but it's not as, or, but it's a little better than Super Android 13. Hmm. Although that had some amazing parts. You know, put it under both of them. Yeah, it's it's, it's under both of those. Just because Android, Super Android 13 had an amazing dub. $38 haircut. Really you I can't mean, beat it. it. The, yeah, no, the writing's pretty top-notch in that one. Dan? Uh, sure, uh, three. Um, it's, <laughs> it's, it's below mid, in my opinion. It drags a little too much. Uh, th the editing gets jarring at multiple points in it. The animation doesn't look incredible, in my opinion. It's certainly not the worst they've shown. So I'm not going to sit here and slam it for a Dragon Ball Z movie, of course. But uh, yeah, no, I, I feel like once the villains show up, it gets un unusually boring in the same sort of way that the Broly fight just became boring. Like a lot. But here's the thing. The Broly fight had some really raw shit that happened in it. And I don't think I feel the, that way at all about any of the fights in BoJack Unbound. So I, I'm giving it a three. It's definitely worse than Cooler's Revenge, which has... You know, a few great moments. It has some good character moments. Uh, it's definitely nowhere near as good as Super Android 13 or Lord Slug. I would definitely recommend those first. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling pretty strong about this. I'll, I'll give it a three. I'll give it a three. It, it's almost a four, but no, no, I'm good. Uh, I really liked this. Uh, this is my first time seeing this one. I somehow avoided BoJack uh, for most of my life. Um... I think the attempts they made at like trying to massage this into the greater Dragon Ball like canon were kind of neat. Like seeing how what characters are doing around this point. The Battle Island stuff I thought was cool and a way to actually show us multiple places that they have to draw from scratch. Uh, those fights definitely uh, did hamper it to keep it from getting a super high marks for me. But um... Also, I think some of the some of the moments were good, and I like that final hit, that random samurai clash at the end. Uh, I was comparing it to the other films I have up here, and just going, "Is it better than this?" No, no, no. 
and I've figured it in, and I like it more than Lord Slug, so I'm gonna have to give it a six. <laughs> So, Bob, was your number a five or a four? It was a five. It probably okay. should be a four, but I'm going to put no, it No, no, no. You, you leave it wherever you want. I just, <laughs> you said something at the end, and I was like, well, d does he want to move it down? <laughs> Bob, uh, Bob, you, what's sh up? you should make it a four. You should no, no, no. <laughs> you, should, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't color his perception. It's locked in, unfortunately. Wait a second. What how come, are we how come it's to get locked access? in four minutes later for Bob, but field changes it months later? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That seems like some bullshit. He feels fe All right, so now that we've tabulated the scores, it seems that, that, Boja that Bojack seems to have obtained a 19, giving us yet another fucking tie. I think that's the only reason Casey wants your number to stay the same and he went last. Yes. Otherwise, <laughs> it, it, here's the thing. I have to under entertain this because this motherfucker just gave Bojack Unbound the same score as Dead Zone. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but I specified where it was in my overall rankings, which is the lowest six. You gotta feel you gotta feel these things around here. I gotta use my numbers properly, unlike Dan. He keeps <laughs> using those ones. Uh yeah, there's a reason for that. Sometimes a kid fails a class and needs to do it again. <laughs> I really worry after this movie it's going to be nothing but ones. Shut the fuck up. I don't <laughs> the fact I'm like well, Janemba's probably have... better than this. Uh hmm. Dan, I'm gonna need you to place everything properly so that we can do that. Casey, part wait, where Dan, I... can you do the math, please? <laughs> I'm looking at the same document and I can do it myself, but they'd be tired. Goo goo. <laughs> goo goo ga ga, hurry up. <laughs> That's why Casey wanted the ties so that way everything could be easier to move around. <laughs> Not true at all. <laughs> Thank you for chewing my food for me and putting it mouth to mouth like a bird. So today, we, we here, here's what our rankings look like. And dead last with a score of 4 out of 28. Return of Cooler. It can't do, you can't do worse than this. That's true. Shown by the fact the thing that did slightly better with 5 points, History of Trunks, is above it. <laughs> From there, we have ourselves a, <laughs> we have ourselves a three-way tie. I don't know how that happens. It's between Bardock, Father of Goku, Tree of Might, and Sleeping Princess and Devil's Castle. They have an eight. Double the quality of the return of Cooler. Yes. Just to let you all know that. Uh, that's true. Uh, coming yeah. in number nine, Curse of the Blood Rubies. Yeah, Curse of the Blood Rubies has an eleven. Then we have uh <laughs> we have Broly. Broly has a twelve. And then comes Mystical Adventure with thirteen. And then World Strongest. We got a, a 16 on that. Then, <laughs> thanks to science and big brains, we have a three-way tie yet again. Uh, fifth through third of uh, Bojack, Cooler's Revenge, and Lord Slug. All of them getting a 19. Just barely not being able to get to that coveted 20 zone. Uh, but thankfully, we do have a couple of things in that 20 zone. Number two, Super Android 13. She got a 21. And then reigning champion with 22 points out of 28 is Dead Zone. And that is what our rankings look like after 14 of these nightmares. <laughs> yeah, we have a good range here. We use our scores appropriately. And uh, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> that, that, that. That's good. Maybe we'll have a segment on like episode 20 where people just fight about these ties. <laughs> and say, fuck you. It's finally, it's finally time. Deathmatch time. I don't know, but but that's for later. <laughs> that seems brutal. It it will it will be brutal. <laughs> it will be bloody. It is time for what's happening next time. Next time is going to be a lot different than what we usually do. In fact, it might be the first thing where I may allow zeros. We'll see. <laughs> Regardless, I have no I, is, I have no idea what this is going to be like. I've I've never seen it. It's lost. Bob, read the text. <laughs> All right, here we go. <clears throat> Wait, what is this? They did it for what? A Famicom game? Wait, not... No, that... Wait, no, <laughs> the Playdia? They made an OVA for the Playdia? And then they made it... 
<laughs> then they remade it. This is the original <laughs> one, though. Next time on Mondo <laughs> Cool, <laughs> Dragon Ball <laughs> Z side <laughs> story <laughs> plans <laughs> to the Renegade the Saiyans. Do do. This month's Gigaboots videos were brought to you by our lordly executive producers, Esme, E. Lee Broyles, Star Falcon, Spaceman Spiff, Danny Richardson, Red Blaze 27, Third Birthday Wen, and Adam Macarena. Thank you very much to our executive producers. And also these guys. Soar on over to patreon.com slash gigboots and become an executive producer today.